Hey, Merchant Center Mastery followers, subscribers, fans, enemies, slash uh, haters, and all of you. So, data feeds. Feeds are no longer in Google Merchant Center Next. And I want to talk about that, how you can find them, because they kind of are in Next, but they're no longer called feeds. First, a, a just a real brief history talking through that. So, if you want to skip through this, go ahead about a minute or so. Data feeds are an kind of an older thing, right? We've talked about that before. Think of it almost like a spreadsheet where the different rows and columns are your product attribute information. A feed in that sense is kind of a cool thing, but it's also a little clunky and it's it's kind of an old school type thing. And this this video was spawned by a conversation with Mike Ryan. Um, and so I'll, 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 I'll post that here. I'll show that here. But it's important to know, like a lot of us have been talking about feedless, Google going without feeds for years, really. Um, I actually predicted this, I think it was in like 2021 or 20, I think it was maybe 2020 or 2021 where I thought that that was going to be the year that Google created feedless. They've had, even in the old Google Merch Center Classic, they've had the option to pull dynamically from your website. You might have seen that in there before, um, but it's never become, it, it's still, there's, there's still a lot of things I think that needs to be figured out before they would ever like totally get rid of the feed. So Spoiler alert, feeds are not gone. They're just renamed in Google Merchant Center next. Um, but but do keep an eye on that. A, a lot of the websites are going to have to utilize structured markup and that sort of thing in a way that Google can easily read. And that's still, we're still not there yet, especially across different like e-commerce platforms and that sort of thing. But that, that will come. I do think it will come. So eventually Google, Google will just be able to read your data on your site and not have to provide a feed. As Mike Ryan has pointed out, it really seems like Google Merch Center Next is just that that next, <laughs> pun intended, that next step towards uh, fully feedless. In my opinion, by the way, before we go fully feedless, Google Merch Center is absolutely going to have to get, uh, next is absolutely going to have to get supplemental feeds and feed rules because the whole point of feedless is that it just pulls data from your site, but it gets that stuff wrong all the time. Like structured markup is set up wrong or, or even we've had structured markup set up correctly and Google will pull a random like wrong price from somewhere else on the page, right? So stuff gets messed up. We still need to be able to edit the products. All that to say, Google Merch Center next. So like, whoa, if you've ever, if you've ever like me, you've, You've tried to look around and you're like, whoa, wait, where, like, where's the data feed section, right? It's not on the left side. It's not on the left side menu. That's because you actually need to go into settings now. And it's called data sources, data sources, as Mike Ryan pointed out, uh, moving away from feed into source obviously makes it more and more that, that a feed is, is not, um, going to be the primary source of data in the future which is fine. Here's where then you can actually go in and, and create a feed. And then, then it starts to get into more of your normal, like what you would expect, right? Adding it from your Google sheets. And again, that is just a Google sheet. That's a spreadsheet. We've, we've done that before. You can utilize the API or, or just your normal feed file as it was in classic as well. So all that to say, there are still basically feeds, and yet um, more and more we're moving towards a feedless realm. But in the meantime, if you want to go create a feed, it took me just when I first started Merchant or Next, it took me just a little bit to even find this. So this is where you actually go for that settings, data sources. Then you can get in there and start creating things. Uh, super quick video, but hopefully it was a little helpful in giving you a little bit of context around that because that's part of what I try to do with Merchant Center mastery is not just dump quick information on you but to talk through like what's going on with it because I, th I I'm, I'm of the mindset that the more you know of something the better able you are to understand it and service it and work with it so hope that was helpful thank you and see you later